Welcome to our lecture online. Our next challenging problem has to do with an object with mass of 2 kilograms held at a height of 40 centimeters above a spring with a spring constant of 1960 newtons per meter. We drop the object down onto the spring and the spring will be compressed a certain distance before the object becomes motionless, probably momentarily. What is the compression of the spring? What is x equal to? So in this case, it looks like the energy equation or the energy conservation equation would be a good place to start. So let's go ahead and start with the amount of work put into the system plus the original potential energy plus the original kinetic energy equals the potential energy final plus the kinetic energy final plus the energy lost during the collision. But wait a minute, we have a hint here for part one no energy is lost in the collision. Hmm. That means that energy loss portion can go to zero. There's no work put into the system. So we can already say that this is equal to zero and that will be equal to zero. However, before we continue, we need a reference point for the height. And it's not a bad idea to start with a reference point that's all the way down here. Let's call this H is equal to zero which means that the original potential energy has to have a reference point down to here. So that means that the potential energy initial would be M times G times H. Uh, let's say here that would be 0 0.4 plus X for being the height above the reference height H equals 0. So it would be MGH. In this case, H would be 0.4 plus the additional X. The initial kinetic energy will be zero because it's motionless at the very beginning. And at the end, the potential energy will be zero, the kinetic energy will be zero, and the energy lost will be zero. And that means we have a problem because it turns out potential energy is not zero. It's not just the height that we lost. We gained potential energy because of the compression of the spring. In other words, hmm, this isn't zero. Of course, we right away realize we had something on the left side, zero on the right side. That, of course, can be true. So the potential energy will be one half kx squared. There's no height anymore to the, to the object, but we do have kinetic energy stored in the spring. And so this is what we need to solve for x. So that means that x squared is equal to, when we bring the 2 across and the k down, that I have 2 over k times mg times 0 0.4 plus x. And notice it looks like we still are going to have an x term in there. On the right side, it looks like we're going to end up with a quadratic equation. Hmm. Because of that, we need to do the following. First of all, we have an m and a g, and we have k, so let's pl plug everything in. So I have x squared is equal to 2 divided by 1960, times 2 times 9.8. So 2 times 9.8 is 19.6, so there's going to be some cancellation there, times 0 0.4 plus x. All right, so it looks like the numbers are picked quite nicely. So it would be 2 divided by 100. So we have x squared is equal to uh, 2 divided by 100 times 0 0.4 plus x. All right, that means that we have x squared is equal to, uh, that would be 0.8 divided by 100, that would be 0 0.0008, is that true? So let's see, one, two, oops, one too many zeros. So one, two, so I have two zeros and an eight. There we go, that's good. Uh, and then plus two divided by 100, which is 0 0.2, 0 0.02x, and finally, writing all that on a single side with a zero on the other side, zero is equal to x squared minus 0.02x minus 0.008. And now we have to solve that quadratic equation for x. So we can say that x is equal to minus b, which is 0.02, plus or minus the square root of 0.02 squared minus 4 times a times the c, which is a minus 0 0.008, all divided by 2a, which is 2. So this is equal to 
0 0.02 plus or minus the square root. Well, let's see here. We can go ahead and just calculate that. So we have 4 times 0 0.008. Add that to plus 0 0.02 squared equals. That gives us the square root of 0 0.0324. Take the square root of that, which is 0 0.18. So this gives us plus or minus 0 0.18 all divided by 2. Now notice, it doesn't appear possible for that to be a minus because then uh, we get a negative x. That's not possible. We need a positive x. So when we add these together, this is equal to 0 0.2 divided by 2, which is equal to 0 0.1. Of course, that's in meters. And that would then be the answer. The compression of the spring is 1 tenth of 1 meter or 10 centimeters. And that is how that's done.